West Australia's Mark McGowan may be the most popular Premier in the country right now. The latest news poll shows WA Labor on track for a wipeout election win. 23 degrees in Perth, we're heading towards a part. Most of the time I am Liberal, but yeah, I did vote for, for him. If success in politics is measured by popularity, it's a good time to be Mark McGowan. He's on track for a thumping election victory. Well, Mark McGowan has been immortalised on a Scarborough man's leg. The tattoo of the Premier has caused waves on social media. You're joking. Tell me what is going on. 922-11882. He has really tapped into this sort of innate isolationist streak within West Australians, almost this chip on the shoulder that Western Australia doesn't get its due respect on the national stage, and they have used that ruthlessly right throughout the pandemic. I think he's definitely handled it the best out of anyone else. I think that he's so pro-West Australia, he's being very real, um, but putting our safety first and foremost. And I think he's also just quite a personality sort of, you know, guy. People love him. The election's still three or four days to go. Um, I'm not focused on those things. I'm just focused on uh, doing all I can to win the support of the people of Western Australia based upon our very uh, strong plan for the election. Saturday's vote hasn't been a contest for months. The newly installed Liberal leader, Zach Kirkup, has already conceded defeat, saying it's not his time. We voted yesterday. Did you? Yeah, our Congratulations. First time. Congratulations. Yeah, That's so good. Very proud to do it. Yeah. My energy needs to be on behalf of the team, making sure we get as many Liberals elected locally as possible. Yeah. All the best for the weekend. Thank you very much. Well, next In week. Dawesville, an hour south of the Perth CBD, Mr Kirkup holds the seat by around 300 votes. It's the second most marginal Liberal seat in the state and it's never been held by Labor. If I'm lucky enough to be re-elected, I'd submit myself back to the party room to continue leading the party. Do you want to continue uh, your career in politics? Is this the end of the line for you? If I uh, am not returned to Dawesville, I don't think that I would return to politics. It's, this is uh, my home and this is the, the community that I, I love to and I have a privilege of representing. And if uh, I'm not returned here, I don't see this as I'm not going to continue in, in, in the political arena. I think that's my time. The 34-year-old telling 7.30 his biggest concern is preventing Labor from gaining total control of both houses of Parliament. Never in my lifetime, certainly, has there been a single party who've controlled both houses of the West Australian Parliament. You know, we saw in the 80s what can happen when you have a very popular Premier uh, and cosy deals with developers and the like, and we want to make sure that we don't see a return to WA Inc. in our state. <laughs> They call it WA Inc, a state whose wealth and success has been based on widespread mineral resources and entrepreneurial flair. WA Inc refers to a series of deals struck between big business figures and the then Labor government led by Brian Burke in the 1980s. It was the subject of a royal commission and Burke was jailed twice, once for defrauding the state in relation to his travel allowances and again for stealing campaign donations, though that conviction was overturned on appeal. Central to everything we do will be our commitment to growth within the private sector and the partnership between the public and the private sectors. The comparisons between the government now and the WA Inc period uh, don't stand scrutiny at all. And that was during a period of almost complete financial deregulation. Now, to compare the problems that I had in government with the situation now is laughable and a sign of political desperation. There's no suggestion Mr McGowan has ever acted inappropriately like Mr Burke, but some observers say there is a closeness between elements of the media, the business community and the government which warrants scrutiny. There is no question that many people have observed a set of preconditions that is a favourable media environment, a circle of business interests that are well connected to each other and that media environment, and a governing party that is happy to play ball with them. I'm not saying that Mark McGowan's government is corrupt, and I think we are a long way 
a long way from the excesses of the 1980s. It is clearly a perception issue that the Premier needs to think very carefully about uh, as he moves forward. That's totally false and totally wrong. Property developers who publicly support your party have benefited from building stimulus packages during the pandemic. Uh, you're also promising to push ahead with a $100 million film studio in Fremantle proposed by a Labor Party donor. And your government has granted a lucrative gas export exemption to a company part owned by Kerry Stokes. Uh, do you agree there is a perception issue here regarding the influence of prominent Perth business figures on your government? No, I don't. Uh, we put in place grants for individuals to build a house and thousands of people have taken it up. I mean, to somehow argue that saving the property sector and saving the residential construction sector is somehow improper is just wrong. Mr McGowan has pushed for legislation that would see greater transparency around donations, but it was blocked by the Liberal Party last year. Brian Burke told 7.30 WA should consider banning developer donations, as is the case in Queensland and New South Wales. We don't have the same problem here, but to prevent it occurring, we should be looking to the future. As the pandemic enters a new phase, there are questions about whether Mr McGowan's hardline approach should last. As Australians are vaccinated though, do you accept that the way you manage COVID-19 in the state will need to change because the risk factors have invariably changed? Well, that's something we'll determine in the future. Um, but this pandemic or future pandemics, uh, slowing down movement uh, has been effective in stopping so the spread of the virus. you won't be dropping your tolerance? You won't be dropping uh, your zero tolerance approach for cases then? Well, we have a very cautious approach and caution has worked. For now, the Premier finds himself in an enviable position as election day nears. Is it dangerous for a politician to be as popular as you are? I just wait and see what uh, happens on Saturday. I'm not going to preempt that. Uh, polls, they come and go, and uh, you don't want to ever put too much store in them. Hi, I'm Lee Sales. Thanks for watching this story. If you'd like to watch more of 7.30's stories, they are on the left of your screen. And tap on the button below to subscribe and get the latest from ABC News.